Hey YouTube, Big Flip here. This is a video about two months in the making. It's in reference to the 2021 reverse proof American Silver Eagles. I got my submission in with one day to spare, but I had to send them in a mint box. That means the postal box. I had to send them to PCGS because I was afraid they were going to get there late. So I got there one day early, so I never got to see the coins, but I skidded in there and I was able to get the first strike. Thank you, Mint, for being on time with all of our coins and not making a scramble. Um, all right, let's look at what's going on with these coins. They came back, the first pair came back 69.69, the second pair 70.70, the third pair 69.69, the fourth pair came back 70 69 and the fifth pair came back 69 70 so if i reversed if i put this 69 with this 69 and that 70 with that 70 i end up with two pair of 70s and three pair of 69s i'm excited i caught the 70s but um it would have sure been nice to catch a lot more let's look at this 177 dollars 50 cents was the sell price on this type 2 69. Let's look at this. $162.95 is what this person has sold these for all day long. And that price right there comes out to about, I think it's $339 for those two. Look at this. This set right here is $299. And you can buy them. They are first strike. You can get them for $299. When it says each, that is for the set not per. All right. So after doing my math and my submittal fees, after paying $17 for submission, $18 for first strike, postage here and there, and then the coins themselves at $85 a piece, I have $250 invested into these coins. And this guy sold them for $299. Looks like I'm going to make maybe $20 after eBay fees maybe 10. I don't think sending these out and catching a 69 is worth it considering I could have sold them for $269 still in the box. All right. But what we're always hoping for is that we catch a 70. So I'll show you this. This one sold for $312.55. It was the type two and it's a $1 S. All right. Let's look at this one. This one sold for $243.50, and it is the W. All right, if you add those two up, um, it's going to come out to about $555. Let's look at this set that was sold. $585 right here was sold all day long at a proof 70. If I subtract my $250 from that and my $30 eBay fee, I can make... $300, okay, on that price tag. I barely broke even on the 69s. So this is why everybody says, oh, I don't know if I'll send them in because, you know, I'm if they don't come back at a 70, I won't make any money. Well, still, it's nice to have, it's nice to have graded coins, super nice to have 70s, but... You got to remember, it's are you in it for the long run? Are you in, in it for just to make money? I hope I helped you guys out with understanding the difference in catching a 69 or a 70 and what the price value goes up because it makes a huge difference if I can keep a pair of 70s and sell a pair of 70s and maybe break even on those and then sell two of the 69s and come close to breaking even on one of them it's a lot of work it's a lot of effort in order to just break even um but i'm super excited i caught two sets at 70 and um, i'm looking forward to my grades on my um morgans and my peace dollars until i see you again do something nice for somebody pay it forward every chance you get please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one sorry about the dogs guys have a great day